Hi everyone, we're back from our ground zero. So tell me, Marissa, have you ever let slip a swear word when it wasn't entirely appropriate? Well, sad to say, um, that's happened to me more than once. Mm, me too, I think. I've had it happen to me a little more times than I care to relate. But anyway, for the most part, I would think that it's quite harmless. It just sort of slips out there, right? Yeah. Unless you're a certain NTU valedictorian oh, yeah. making a speech. I know the story. You're referring to Trinetta Chong, famous for I think did it during a convocation <laughs> speech. That's actually a really good way to put it. Anyway, her ill-time expletive uttered at the end of her convocation speech has caused quite a stir on Storm, specifically about whether it was a big deal for her to have used the F word or not. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2011. You did it! Her slip of tongue drew a mixed bag of comments from Stompers. Some, like Green Samurai, found her indiscretion a serious matter. He wrote, There is a place and time for everything. This is very bad. The university represents the nation's cream of the crop. This makes us all look bad, especially when you consider that NTU is one of the top 100 universities in the world. He then goes on to say, It's like a politician using a vulgarity during a rally speech. Now, we wouldn't want that to happen, right? The word itself to me is fine. It's just that in such a formal setting, it's not really appropriate. There is a time and place for everything. And the F word is not really what you should be saying at a graduation speech. Well put. On the other side of the coin is Stomper Top Chicks 12. She said, Oh, police, it is just the F word. Just because she's from NTU, she can't say it. The majority of youngsters these days use the F word too. She is just in the mood to celebrate. So then the question moves on to whether she really intended to use it or not. Although she has since denied that she intended to use the word, I think her speech was really... Yeah, it's obvious that it was quite prepared, right? To be honest, I really don't buy the idea that it was a sort of spur of the moment thing. In the video, you can clearly see the wild cheering that her swearing drew. It looks like she knew the response she would be getting. Exactly. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think Stomper Matthew, who contributed his comments in another article, summed it really well. He wrote, I am no prude and I admit that I use the F word, but again, there is a time and place for everything. I would never use the F word when addressing an audience because it just might be disrespectful to some people. By restraining myself from using certain words, I am simply being respectful to others. Mm -hmm. mm. The big question, is it really worth upsetting certain people, including your lecturers, dissembled parents, just to cut loose? I doubt so. Agreed. In her position, I would have just made my speech in a dignified manner as a mark of respect for everyone who had put in time and effort into the proceedings. Stomp star bloggers Julian and Silver were equally divided about the matter. While Silver felt that the word had evolved past its original meaning, Julian felt it was still a word to be avoided unless you want people drawing unpleasant assumptions about your judgement and character. Yeah, fair enough, right? After all, people judge each other by their actions, so why not in this case as well? At least she was a big enough person to admit her mistake and apologise for it. She deserves a break after all that. I agree. Up next, if you think you've seen enough of people who pack too much for vacations, check out what this girl had with her heading into Johor Bahru. <laughs>